So today we're going to look at Visual Studio Code and its native integrations with the Python unit test module. Now, what you've probably been doing before finding this video is within your Django project, I believe let's go into the project folder, there'll be this manage.py and you would run something like Python 3 manage.py and you would have like a test command. I think it's like test and then you, you would specify what test you want to run. Now that works, but I find it kind of annoying to have to like keep running python manage.py test, run python manage.py.test. It's just really annoying to do. So if you want to actually use what Visual Studio Code supports, they have this little testing icon at the bottom and that's where we're where all kind of all the magic happens. But before we go there, what you want to make sure you do is create a file that contains your tests. Now, what I've seen other people do, and I believe this is the best practice, is putting the test file within your app directory. So I have this Django project and I have a blog app and within my blog app next to kind of the models and the the views, I have this test.py file. And within my test.py, we have some code here. I'll, I'll post this in the description. And I just have a single test here. And all this test does is make sure I called my object for creating articles or creating posts. I just call it post. So there's this class I have in my models and let's find it, it's my post. So it has like the author, the likes, views, content. And in my test file, I am basically importing um, my post right here and I'm doing some of these other imports. And what you wanna do is name, and there are some different ways you could name your files, but the, the pattern I follow is using test underscore and then the function name or the test name. So if I'm creating a new test, it would be test underscore blah, blah, blah. And in this case, I'm testing the query set exists and exists, I think I put an extra, there we go. So I'm, I'm doing this test here and it's taking my post object, grabbing all the objects and then asserting that yes, indeed, post objects exist. Kind of a dumb test, but it will get us going. Now, when I tried to do this the first time, it was complaining about, I got all these kind of crazy errors. And it turns out what you need to do in your test file is include these two lines. And this pretty much is a copy paste for you. The one thing you will change is I call this Django project.settings. Now this is the name of your app. And if you're not quite sure what the name of your app is, it should be in your, it's like the Aswagi file. Let's see, it's in Django project, um, test, do, do, here we go. A-S-G-I, I don't know, how do you pronounce it out loud? A-S-G, your A-S-G file. And this will be the name of your pro project. It will be blah, 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 dot setting. So you basically wanna copy this name here and put that right there and import everything you need and you should be kind of ready to go. Now, if you go to the testing right here, unless you've done set something up yourself already, you may see something here. And if that's the case, if you go to your settings and if we type in like unit test, there will be this enable testing unit using unit test. And if you're using another one called like pi test, there should be an option uh, for enable testing using PyTest. So you wanna make sure those are unchecked if you wanna be in the same exact place where I am where you see these two buttons um, and nothing's been configured yet. So what I'll do is I'll configure the Python tests and I have two choices. I like the just default unit test framework and now it's asking me where are my tests located. I have them in my Django project directory and then now it's asking, how do we find the test files? Now this isn't the test, the tests themselves where we were doing test underscore, this is actually the test file and I call this tests. So I'm gonna choose this option where it will look for the file name test and then wildcard after 
test. So this could be like test Z, test B, test whatever. In my case, my file is tests, plural, and so it will pick this up. And we'll choose that. And now give it a second, and it's actually found my one test, and we'll see it's in my Django project, in my blog, in my test file, and then here is my post test case. And let's actually run it. We'll see if it, okay, it did pass, so we got all green check marks. And everything's working, which is great. And we can see there's this green check mark right here. Now, I find this a lot easier than using the Python manage.py, especially because you can configure this to run on code changes. You can run certain tests and not other tests. I just, I really enjoy using the testing kind of functionality that Visual Studio Code comes with. I mean, you're using an IDE already, you might as well take advantage of it. So to summarize, again, after we set all this up, you wanna make sure that you have a test file that follows the right pattern, depending on what you chose. And then again, I chose the test underscore, we'll recognize the tests, and you'll have tests ready to go. And that's how you do it. Hope that was helpful, enjoy.